Hi, my name is Hamed. Together with my friend Ali, who is helping with the video today, we will show you two fun chemical reactions which produce gas. Okay, for the first experiment, we need a film container with almost half of it full of water and a kind of dissolving tablet which you can buy from the pharmacies. Uh, first, I will put uh, half of one of these tablets into the container and just close the top and see what happens. This should be done quite fast, so let's see what happens. I will put this into the film container, close the top, and then we watch together. Okay, for the second experiment, we need some vinegar, some baking powder, a glass, a small piece of tissue or paper towel, and a Ziploc. First, I will pour about three spoon, teaspoon of baking powder onto the tissue. A little more. And somehow pack it and put it aside to be ready. Then, uh, I will measure about quarter of a cup of warm water and pour this into the Ziploc then about half of a cup vinegar Add this to the water. Okay, the next step should be done quite fast. We have the baking powder ready. We just put it into the Ziploc and just close the top quite fast. Okay, as you can see, the Ziploc is expanding. Try to think about the reason of that before I explain it to you. Okay, now I will explain the reason behind these two fun experiments. In the first experiment, as a result of mixing water and the dissolving tablet, a gas is created. The gas is called carbon dioxide and is the same gas that we breathe out. By releasing more and more of this gas, the pressure inside the container increases until the rocket container is blasted up. In fact, the gas is invisible, so you can't see it in real. But from the pressure increase in the container, we understand that a gas is created from the reaction. For the second experiment, if you remember, we mixed warm water with vinegar and baking powder and we saw that the Ziploc expanded. Try to explain what has happened inside the Ziploc, similar to the argument that I explained for the first experiment. When these materials are mixed together, they create a chemical reaction and again produce carbon dioxide. Obviously, the gas needs a lot of room, and as more gas is produced, the Ziploc is expanded more and more. It might even explode, be careful about that. If you think about these reactions, the amount of materials that you add is an important factor. For example, think what happens if you add more baking powder to the mixture.